be more difficult to attract them. The Aviation Roundtable has commended the federal government's decision to concession airports in the country. The industry pressure group in a statement says it's cautiously optimistic that the policy thrust designed to raise the level of services at our airport in line with global best practices that will be of pride to all Nigerians. Arts implores the government to ensure transparency, accountability and fairness to all stakeholders and participants, which is the hallmark in a concessioning process and will avertedly tally with the ease of doing business model. Following the certification of the Moritala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, the managing director of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria has asked staff of the airport to ensure that the airport maintains the status. The Lagos airport was certified by the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority last week after 11 years, making it the first airport in the country to be certified. The airport manager also explains what it means to sustain the certification. This certificate is a life certificate, so you must sustain, sustain the life of this certificate, or else it could be withdrawn, it could be suspended. That, that's what, uh, uh, these are the conditions. If you fell short of what we achieved over this time, NCAA has the right to withdraw the certificate, to suspend the certificate. and. Um, we told NCA that uh, we will not allow that to happen. And it's not me that will not allow it to happen. It's not the airport manager alone, but the, the airport manager and her team. Just like you earned it, you have to sustain it. It is have been upgraded to the standard required. We're going to make sure that they don't go down. Our categories are going to be maintained. Everything is going to be done in a way that we won't need to go down. And uh, by doing that, we make sure that everything that needs to be put in place is put in place. Staff training, maintenance, and uh, so many other things that we need to do. The Nigerian Immigration Service has been speaking about recent reforms expected to make the processing of passports easier. Before a tour of the Alausa and Ikoi offices, the Assistant Controller General in charge of Lagos Anugu addressed journalists present. All the cries from various quarters about delays in the issue of passport will be a thing of the past. As I speak to you now, I don't think we have any backlog in both Ikoi and Alausa passport offices. We only still have very few challenges in Kestak Passport Office, which I hope by the end of this week, everything will be straightened. Then a brief tour of both facilities. The first port of call is the vetting area, then the production and waiting areas. The NIS says it's also top on the ease of doing business as its visa on arrival is targeted at international business people. In the past, you could only get your approval for the visa on arrival from the NIS headquarters at Abuja. But now we have made it easier. We have introduced a dedicated email address, oa at nigeriaimmigration.gov.ng, from anywhere in the world. If you want a visa to come to Nigeria, you can apply, send it to that email, and we assure you that within 48 hours, you will get it approved, sent back to you. You board your flight, and at any international airport in Nigeria, you get a visa to come and do business in Nigeria. The e-passport is a standard travel document if anyone must cross the border to another country. Many other types exist, depending on the purpose for which it is issued. World Bank is coming. The Minister of State for Aviation, Senator Hadi Sarika, has inaugurated an 11-man presidential task force to address regulatory matters affecting the aviation sector. Senator Sarika, while inaugurating the committee in Abuja, stated that the ministry was only following the directives given by the Vice President, Yemi Shibajo, to tackle issues raised by the airline operators of Nigeria. He noted that the membership of the task force comprises of the following. The Minister of State for Aviation, who is the chairman, 
the special advisor to the president on economic matters, the director general, Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, the managing director of Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, the managing director, Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, four nominees of the Association of Airline Operators, and two representatives of the Ministry of Transport and International Air Transport Association. All the Nigerians are going to be there like, give me Coca-Cola, give me beef. Why you have no beef left? I want beef. Finally on the program, the British Airways stewardess who posted a racial rant about Nigerian passengers gets a boot as the British carrier says a conduct was unprofessional. The hair hostess Joanne Wickenden sparked outrage after recording the racist clip in a BA uniform before flying from London Heathrow to Abuja last weekend. That's our show for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bukola Jo Oketumbi. Okay,